General Manager of the SVJ Cocoa Company, Andrew Hadley, said as part of the workshop, they went on a tour to some cocoa fields where they identified the different diseases which can affect production. Hadley noted that these diseases could be prevented if farmers follow some key directives, such as pruning their crops and keeping fields well ventilated. Because all these diseases are spread by water, in other words, high humidity and dampness which can occur in your field and then these diseases can spread very very quickly. He's, he's doing grafting also in the field um, so the point of grafting in the field is that we may have an old cocoa tree of you know over 40 years old it hasn't been pruned or looked after for many years it's much too big to, to really uh, reap and um, attend to the tree and so he's looking at ways of grafting these big trees um, and so we can uh, re-establish um, an old field into a young. In the next four to five years, the SVG Cocoa Company is looking to establish between 5,000 to 7,000 acres of cocoa here in this country.